Okay, on to the next one. This is dead as a doornail. Yeah, it's, it's crap. There's no sound wood anywhere, so there's no wedging. There's no swinging, there's no games. It's got a big split. This thing might actually disintegrate. I might just plunge it once or twice and then snap it off. I'm, I'm not wanting to get killed today. I got the grapple over my head just for a little added protection. Got my helmet on. Let's set you up on the tripod. So this one, this one has a pretty substantial element of danger to it because it's, it's hung in a fork. I mean wedged dead straight in a fork up against a good quality tree. And I mean, it hasn't moved a bit. It's been up here for months. It ain't gonna fall down on its own. There's no way. It's like really propped in there. Maybe I could cut it at that end and pull it with a chain past the stump and then slide it down this tree because it'll prune that thing, you know, it'll limit but not get hung. So maybe that's the smarter choice. Yeah, I think that is the smarter choice. I'll probably get the saw stuck. <clears throat> I mean, I like a little danger, but my kids do want to see me once in a while. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you up. We're going to cut that. If I get the saw pinched, I mean, you know, I got a machine, I can probably get it out. I got a hatchet, I can chop my way out of there. Let's try that. This part ain't rocket science, I'm just whittling away like a beaver. Putting gill after gill and taking out little triangles and just trying to make relief cuts so that as the tree moves, it, it can't pinch the bar, but it, it is allowed to move enough for me to see what's going on so I know when I'm getting close. <laughs> 